Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're back working on the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. I mean, we got some ground to cover here, Eric. But it's not all work. That is so much fun. We'll even meet some people who've hiked the entire 1,000 miles. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Just over three years ago, Discover Wisconsin set out to bring you the entire Ice Age National Scenic Trail right into your living room. Now along the way, we may have cheated a bit by driving from section to section, but we have seen some awesome places around our state. Well today, our thousand mile adventure comes to a head at the Eastern Terminus in Door County, but don't go anywhere. There's still a ton of great stuff to see, starting right here at Lapham Peak in Delafield. As the Ice Age National Scenic Trail winds 1,000 miles through Wisconsin, it's divided into segments. Our journey today will start in the Lapham Peak segment in Delafield and continue through Washington County, Sheboygan County, and the trail's eastern terminus in Door County's Pottawatomi State Park. Zooming into Waukesha County, we'll discover 40 miles of trail. Today, we have time to cover a section that travels to and through the city of Delafield. Lapham Peak is part of the Kettle Moraine State Forest. Arguably, it has some of the finest cross-country ski trails in the state. Now, what makes it so good? Well, how about the fact that they make their own snow on about 1.7 kilometers of trail, and they have lighted trails to make it easier to get out and ski after a busy day. But let's turn our attention to the Ice Age Trail and how this park welcomes visitors. Well, the Lapham Peak unit is a 1,000 acre day use only property. The majority of the visitors that we have uh, are tend, to, tend to be involved in the hiking or um, you know, nature observation. We've also got a 45 foot observation tower where um, folks can uh, take advantage of panoramic views of southeastern Wisconsin. Now, we meet a lot of interesting people as we discover Wisconsin. It is a gorgeous day. I know, right? So a lot of people in Wisconsin have hiked portions of the Ice Age Trail here or there, but you've done something quite extraordinary. What's this again? Uh, I was lucky enough to get to walk the entire 1,000 plus miles of the Ice Age Trail. 1,000 miles of the Ice Age Trail? Yeah. So you've kind of seen it all, right? I have seen uh, the entire state of Wisconsin in a, under a, in a great venue. <laughs> that sounds really special. And you did it in sections? Yeah, I did it in sections. You know, uh, you're recognized as a 1,000 miler, uh, regardless of whether you through hike it, that would be backpacking along the entire way. Uh, uh, or if you do it in segments. The nice thing about segment hiking was that I got to see the Ice Age Trail at all four seasons. You know, so I snowshoed about 50 or 60 miles of the trail and you know, got to see it in this time of year. And I sometimes think there's 4,000 miles of Ice Age Trail if you can see it at all four seasons. Tell me, tell me some of your favorite places. Uh, one thing I've often said is it isn't always so much a place as a moment. It might be a sunrise or a deer or something like that, but right here at Lapham Peak has is, is got to be one of my favorites. I mean, we're right next to Delafield yeah, as well. Uh, uh, the, the trail continues from here as, as you're walking north. Uh, you go right through downtown Delafield, right on the streets. There's yellow blazes right on the, on the street posts. Well, whether you make your way to the city of Delafield by trail or just by car, there's going to be plenty of things to discover there. First, there's not enough time in this show to take you to all the great shops, restaurants, hotels, and businesses in and around Delafield, so you'll have to come see those things for yourself. Now, if you're planning your visit for July, their annual block party is more than just a neighborhood festival. And if you love festivals, this is the perfect time to visit Delafield. You see, you can also attend the Lake Country Art Festival on the same trip. The Lake Country Women's Club is a group that puts on this community event which encompasses over 140 artists, entertainment, a children's area, award-winning barbecue. So it's truly something for everybody at this event. Held within Nagawaki Park, the art festival may not be the only thing you want to pack for on your trip. With a beach and a lake, a swimsuit should definitely be required. And if you enjoy a day on the greens, bring the clubs. Transformed from 200 acres of the Kettle Moraine, Nagawaki War Memorial Golf Course is a breathtaking and challenging 18-hole course. Delafield is smack dab in the heart of lake country, and one of the most popular ways to enjoy the lakes around here? Sailing. The Nagawika Yacht Club was established in 1895, so they've been sailing these waters for a while. 
Whether during one of their numerous races or just enjoying a day on the water, you'll see plenty of sails dotting the landscape across the lakes. One final stop on our journey here takes us back to downtown Delafield. Just off the Ice Age Trail, you'll find another memorable trail dedicated to honoring those who served our country. The Wisconsin Veterans Memorial Riverwalk encapsulates nine separate war memorial sites along a beautiful three-quarter mile walk along the Bark River. Download a map of the walk or get ideas for even more to do downtown by first visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Delafield as your destination. After this short break, we're getting back on the Ice Age Trail as it heads north through Washington County. Stay tuned. We're trekking through the Ice Age National Scenic Trail right now on Discover Wisconsin. One thing you'll quickly realize, there is so much to see and do on and off the Ice Age Trail. Take Washington County, for example. As you enter the county, the trail passes right by many amazing sites and through many equally amazing communities. Trust me, it takes a lot of work to maintain these trail sections. It takes even more to build new sections of trail. And today, I'm in Washington County, where we're gonna do just that. So let's grab a shovel. I've got my work gloves, we're going. While smaller groups and individuals help the trail every day, larger efforts like the project we're joining is organized by the Ice Age Trail Alliance's Mobile Skills Crew. That's right, Mobile <laughs> Skills Crew. Statewide program for the Ice Age Trail Alliance brings volunteers from all over the state, all over the upper Midwest. To build this additional two miles of trail in Washington County, over 250 volunteers came in to lend a hand. I got a chance to talk with Luke and Craig, who's from right here in Washington County. Both have hiked the entire Ice Age Trail, but each one a little differently. Learn how they did it, why they did it, and some of their favorite parts by watching a bonus clip on discoverwisconsin.com. I think people are pleasantly surprised when they come to Washington County. With our expansive park system, it's great for hiking, biking, and all types of family activities. We have seven beautiful golf courses, including Aaron Hills, which will host the 2017 US Open. And then when you add in our unique attractions, it makes it a very rich blend of culture and recreation. One of the most scenic and spiritual places in Wisconsin is right here in Washington County, and you can hike right past it on the Ice Age Trail. The title of Foley Hill, I think, is very beautiful. It says, Mary, help of Christians, so our doors are open to all people coming, and people, we find people sitting in here just pondering and reflecting on their lives. Heading north from Holy Hill, the trail makes its way alongside the city of West Bend. First, a well-timed visit brings you all the excitement that is the Washington County Fair. For six days and nights, experience everything you'd expect from a county fair, plus shows and demonstrations you may not find everywhere else. What makes the Washington County Fair Park and Conference Center a year-round destination is the world-class amenity that can host banquets, business meetings, expos, and just about every kind of event you can imagine. And we've got great location. When we built the facility 15 years ago, it was all about location. Now, take a side trail into downtown West Bend and discover the Museum of Wisconsin Art. We are the museum for all of Wisconsin artists throughout the state here in West Bend, Wisconsin. And this is a, a great opportunity to showcase historical art from Wisconsin, uh, Native American art, as well as contemporary artists who are working today. So we consider this museum a kind of petri dish for the arts and culture of Wisconsin. With a new facility opened in 2013, you'll want to add this cultural gem to your travel itinerary. So what's there to do in Washington County in winter? Well, continuing north on the Ice Age Trail, you'll pass right through one attraction. Just make sure you bring your downhill skis. Or I'm sure Sunburst would have some for you to rent. Venturing a little bit off the Ice Age Trail, you'll discover numerous other trails perfect for the snow, including horse-drawn sleigh rides through the Kettle Moraine Forest. In the Kewaskum area in the winter, we have cross-country skiing throughout all the Kettle Moraine trails. We have snowmobiling all throughout the Kettle Moraine Forest as well. We have snowshoeing. Uh, we have different types of hunting available. There's also lots of lakes where you could uh, ice fish. It brings you that up north feel, but close to home. We were only able to share a fraction of all the exciting things there is to do around here. For a list of more attractions and events or directions to any of the places we visited today, just visit the Washington County destination page on our website. After the break, we'll show you where you can find this amazing view right here in Wisconsin. 
Our Ice Aged adventure continues now on Discover Wisconsin. Known for their lakefront activities like stand up paddle boarding, sailing, and surfing, yes, even surfing, Sheboygan's water recreation may be unequaled. Well, today we're venturing a little more inland and seeing what we can discover on the 28 and a half miles of trail that make up Sheboygan County's portion of the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. So one of the outdoor activities that you might have heard of is called geocaching. It's like a scavenger hunt where you have to find a stash that's hidden somewhere in nature. Well, the Ice Age Trail Alliance has developed a similar program. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about cold caching. Dolly, we have an absolutely beautiful day here in this gorgeous area of the Ice Age Trail. It sure is. We're here in Sheboygan County near the Butler Lake area, and this is one of 50 sites where you can do some cold caching along the Ice Age Trail. In other words, you're finding geological treasures along the Ice Age Trail. Oh, that sounds fun. Why did the Alliance decide to develop the program? Well, one of the main reasons, of course, is to bring more visitors to the trail, but also to promote public, public awareness appreciation and understanding of Wisconsin's glacial landscape. And I understand that you can collect some pretty neat patches just from finding more caches, is that right? You sure can. Um, this is a series of patches that you can earn, starting with the snowflake level, which is finding three cold cache sites representing at least two different features, building on up from a snowflake to a blizzard, a fern, an ice cap, and finally to a glacier. And a glacier is finding 25 cold cache sites representing at least 20 different features. Well, I was ready to learn just how easy it is to cold cache. Dolly explained that you start by finding a list of sites online with directions and questions to answer. Our cache was right here at Butler Lake in Sheboygan County, so we quickly got started. Once we found the first coordinates, we answered a simple question from the website with the answer that was on the sign. See how I did by watching a bonus video of my cold caching adventure on discoverwisconsin.com just under the Ice Age Trail destination page. If you're up for more discovery, a short side trail off the Ice Age Trail brought us to the Parnell Observation Tower. A 360 degree panoramic view provides a clear view of forest and farmlands making up the county. And just a bit further, you connect to the old Plank Road Trail that connects Greenbush to the city of Sheboygan. Our final stop is just a jump off the trail system, Maywood Environmental Park. There is so much to do here. I know. I so know. what are some of the highlights? Well, for me, there's a couple of really unique things about the park, and I know I'm biased, but it is 135 acres. So that's one of the largest city-owned parks in the state, actually, which gives us six very unique habitats to explore, all just minutes from Sheboygan. And also, because it's a city-owned park, it's free. You don't need a sticker. All it's that for free. For free. Yeah, I tell everyone it's the cheapest water park in Sheboygan. You have the Pigeon River, ponds, wetlands, so gorgeous. lots to explore. Donated by Elwood May, the city of Sheboygan created this natural area, and as Rebecca said, it's completely free to visit. The Ecology Center and Store is open to learn and discover more about nature and the area. And even when the center isn't open, you're welcome to come out 365 days a year to hike, cross-country ski, or simply sit back and relax along the banks of a river. Yeah, there's some old ones. We'll give you maps, links, photos, and more for Maywood, along with other things to put on your travel itinerary on the Sheboygan destination page on our website. When we come back, we're finally reaching the Ice Age Trail's eastern terminus. We're on the home stretch of the Ice Age Trail on Discover Wisconsin. For those who choose to through hike the Ice Age Trail from west to east, this is their finish line. Welcome to the eastern terminus in Door County's Pottawatomie State Park. Whether you consider it the finish line or the starting line, Door County welcomes visitors to explore the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. The Ice Age Trail takes advantage of the 400 million year old dolomite rock that formed Door County, known as the Niagara Escarpment. Potawatomi State Park's observation tower assists with your sightseeing opportunities. Just look at these views of the Bay of Green Bay. So there's plenty to see along the trail, but we're betting you'll want to plan some time to see what else Door County has to offer. 
We certainly encourage people to get off the trail while they're here uh, and explore some of the great things. We've got uh, 11 lighthouses here in Door County that you can experience. It's over 300 miles of shoreline. We've got 19 county parks. We've got five state parks. We've got 53 Lake Michigan beaches scattered around Door County, so lots of places to, to soak up the sun. In the springtime, you've got all the blossoms. We've got over 2.2 million daffodil bulbs that have been planted. In addition to the 2,500 acres of cherry orchards that we've got up here that spring to life mid-May. From a culinary standpoint, is a Door County fish boil. They're offered at restaurants throughout the county. Uh, it takes locally caught whitefish steaks, uh, potatoes and onions, puts them together in a big outdoor fire on a big pot, and uh, it's just, it's an experience in and of itself, in addition to being a delicious meal. And they top that off with a piece of Door County cherry pie for dessert. Add to John's list the numerous villages along each shore, providing a wide variety of shopping, arts, and events, and Door County stays alive in all four seasons. Now we want you to meet two people with a pretty cool Ice Age Trail story. First, Jason Dorgan. He's not only an Ice Age Trail volunteer, but he also decided to run the entire trail in 21 and a half days. Let me say that again, he ran the Ice Age Trail in nearly 50 miles a day. Why? You know, that is everybody's first question, I think. And I haven't never got a perfect answer for it, but as I get more involved with the trail and I think back why, other trails have had people through run them. Appalachian, PCT. Ice Age Trail had never had that before. And I was like, why not? And it's in my backyard. It's why I've done so many things. They're local. Jason's accomplishment in 2007 inspired one of his friends, Melanie, to attempt to be the fastest woman to complete the entire trail. Well, she succeeded in 2013, completing the trail in 36 days and five hours. She shared that many of her memories are of the people she met along the way, even when she'd stopped to eat. And the, the chef and owner, who's very personable, came out and announced to the whole restaurant, we have a woman here who just hiked 1,100 miles. He had the whole restaurant applaud. And so I kind of felt, in a way, that that was part of the finish. But the next day, certainly, when I saw the sign um, for Sturgeon Bay, that was just really exciting. And then, of course, to, to see the terminus, and it was a beautiful day. We climbed the tower, we saw the view. It was, it was really exciting. Before you try to run the entire trail yourself, come listen to more tips, advice, and stories from Jason and Melanie on our website under the Ice Age Trail destination page. Over the last four seasons, our crews have met all sorts of people as we explore the entire Ice Age National Scenic Trail and we may have finally discovered the secret to why all these people are drawn to it. I think it's the unexpected surprises along the trail. Over the course of the thousand miles that it will traverse over Wisconsin, the diversity of environments and experiences is so different that uh, it, 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 a lot of people gravitate to it. Today, we discovered different ways to experience the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. Whether you decide to explore a segment near you or take on the entire trail, you're bound to be surprised by everything there is to do and see along the way. Start your trek at discoverwisconsin.com. I'm Mariah Haberman, and I hope to see you out discovering Wisconsin. For more information and bonus video from this episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. Second most importantly to safety is having fun. So mm -hmm. if you're having a good time, Eric, then maybe you'll come back and help us keep moving this vision forward. Absolutely. A lot of people go east to west. Other people go west to east. I went west to east because I felt because I'm not really sure why I went west to east. Ha, 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 ha.